how long can a professional boxer keep going? George Foreman is well into his comeback, and he's in his mid-40s. And here's the story of one local fighter who is 40, been a pro for only a year, and it's not even how he earns his money. That vastus medialis is coming along nice. This is Dr. Harold Reitman, orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> and this is Hacky Reitman, professional heavyweight boxer. Same body, different mentality. Boxing was always part of Reitman's life. He was a New England Golden Gloves champ well before he finished med school. At that time, I had my sights set on becoming an orthopedic surgeon and getting into sports medicine. I knew that would take 10 to 15 years, so um, I had to say no at that time. But I felt in my heart that someday I'd, I'd be back. He turned down a chance to be a pro back then, but did turn professional about a year ago. Since then, he's 8-1-1, one, one, including a knockout just 17 seconds into a fight with Brian Spicer in May of 1989. Reitman gives all his prize money to children's charities or youth programs. His next fight is a three-round exhibition with the legendary Roberto Duran on February 15th at the Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood. This has to be a highlight. This is like pitching baseball to Mickey Mantle. He's one of my all-time heroes. The hands of stone, and uh, I just get chills thinking about it, and uh, I'm training very hard to uh, make a real good showing against him. A 40-year-old orthopedic surgeon as a professional boxer? Well, how serious can he be about boxing? The truth is he better be serious or else he can get hurt in the ring. Dr. Reitman is well aware of that, and it does make for a demanding schedule. In a funny way, I think it, en it enhances my sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery practice because I have to be responsible for my time, so that means road work at 6 in the morning before the operating room, mm -hmm. then rounds at the hospital, see patients all day, dinner with my wife and child, and then back to the boxing gym for a couple hours. Dr. Reitman says his patients rarely talk about his fights except to wish him luck. To them, he's just their doctor. But for him, boxing is more than a hobby. He doesn't mind the hard work and training. If I'm busy and disciplined and, and trying to do uh, worthwhile things in an upbeat manner, um, having fun, doing all of them, um, that's what makes me the happiest. I'm happiest uh, doing arthroscopic surgery and boxing. If he's happy, I'm happy. Now, actually, if he was a plastic surgeon, he might be able to hit some guys in the ring and give himself some business out of it. But an orthopedic surgeon's a little tougher. That'll do it for sports. I'll see you back here at 6 o'clock. Diane? Thank you, Frank. Still to come at 5.30. Two doing news when one plus one leads to one smashing success like us. Sorry about that. Right. <laughs> and the biggest hits from the world of music step up to honor their own next on Eyewitness News. To uh, the New York Giants who won the Super Bowl yesterday. Watch him. We hope he had... Through the years, you never let me down. You turned my life on. From dishwashers to clothes washers and dryers, a KitchenAid will last through the years.